So digital audio players, or as we call them, DAPs, are a great alternative for all music lovers and all audiophiles out there. If you want to have a device to store all your music on and still listen to it in very high resolution audio, but as we know, those can get a little expensive, especially for the premium ones. So another alternative we could do is turn your old device into a digital audio player, namely your old LG devices. We have two of them right here. We got the V60 and we got the LG G8. This will also work on older LG devices such as the LG G6, the V30, and etc. You could even go far back as the LG V20 if anybody still has one of those. So we're going to convert these into a digital audio player, which can be a lot cheaper than buying an actual digital audio player, which can run you upwards of $200. Uh, the LG G8 can be found for like $100. Uh, the v60 under 200 dollars great alternatives if you want to convert these into a digital audio player so let's go ahead and get started on that thank you guys for joining me here on sick air tech i really appreciate it if you're not subscribed consider subscribing i would really appreciate that as well and click that bell icon that way you don't miss out on future videos here on the channel so let's go ahead and get started converting your old lg device into a digital audio player let's go All right, so quickly going on over my setup that I have on these two LG devices. We have the LG G8 over here, and we have the LG V60. On the V60, I pretty much just used the home launcher, stripped everything from it, and just added widgets from all of my media apps, such as Amazon Music, LG Music Player, YouTube Music, Spotify, etc. And I just added a folder down here with all of those apps in that folder you can go as far as uninstalling all the apps you do not need of course for the v60 uh, a lot of people are probably still using this as their main device so you may not want to do that but as something like an lg g8 g6 or a v30 uh, most people aren't going to be using those as their daily devices you could uninstall facebook you know all the apps you do not need and just have all your media apps on here and for over here on the g8 uh, I did install Niagara Launcher, which is a really simplistic launcher. Uh, I think I like this setup more. You can get the pro version, which is, I believe, $10 a year. I did not do that. I just have the regular version over here. And as you can see, you can just add all of your apps on your home screen that are just strictly media apps or music apps, as I did right here. And you also do get a media player up top, which is really really nice i think this is a really nice touch it might be my favorite uh, setup over here as far as something like what you use to stream your music of course you probably already have your own streaming service uh, i just found qo buzz here which does offer high resolution audio for downloading and listening to on mobile network or wi-fi uh, you could use title or whatever you use already and the great thing about these devices is just like a actual digital audio player, they do offer SD card expansion. So you can have all your files on an SD card stored on this device, which is a really nice feature. I have a lot of Hi-Fi uh, FLAC files on here. As you can see right here, the LG stock music player handles them just fine. I have Hi-Fi 24-bit on this particular song right here. And it plays everything just fine. Of course, you could also, again, go on the Play Store and download Hi-Fi Music Players if you want to do that as well. But I think uh, I've been using the stock LG uh, Music Player for quite some time, and it works just fine for me. As far as that goes, you can see right here, I do have a lot of albums on here saved to my SD card. And that is a really nice feature that old LG, older LG devices have is that SD card support. Another nice feature on these devices is going to be the lovely headphone jack and that quad jack that most of these devices have. The LG Velvet does have a headphone jack, but it does not have the quad jack. You can still use it if you wanted to. Same thing goes for any other older device that has a headphone jack. But you're going to get better audio with something like an older LG device just because you have 
all of those options for your quad DAC. You have equalizer options that you can customize on both of these devices. DTS X on the G8 over here on the V60, you'll have LG 3D surround sound engine. And of course you have your hi-fi quad DAC. You have your sound presets, normal enhanced detailed live and bass. And you also have your digital filter, short, sharp, and slow. So these are gonna offer really nice audio. If you have a really nice pair of IEMs or over the ear headphones, these devices are gonna run them really, really nicely. They work really well with high impedance headphones. They will run them beautifully because these are powered full devices with that quad DAC on all of these. You could also use uh, this on an older LG device such as a G6, a V30, V40. Uh, if you have any of those devices lying around in the drawer, they'll work just fine because they have this quad DACs on them and they will have headphone jacks and they will sound really, really good. So that is a couple of options you could do with your device into making it a digital audio player. I think this sounds really, really good. I really do like QO Buzz. It does offer high resolution audio. Uh, most of the time I stream my stuff on here. Uh, if I use my LG V60, I will use the stock player and listen to the files that I actually have on here. But most of the time it's just streaming stuff. So you could have a SIM card installed and you could use this to stream stuff. And like I said, you could uninstall all your apps on here and just make it a strictly just media stuff on here. That way you don't get distracted, you know, using this and trying to go on Facebook or something. You could strictly use it as a digital audio player. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And links for Niagara Player will be in the description down below. That way you guys go check it out. And you guys have a safe and happy new year. And I will see you all in 2025. Peace.